Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Shomita Roy, pediatrician and today we are going to discuss an extremely important topic for your exam that is fetal circulation. So why is it important students? Because repeatedly a lot of questions has been asked in MBBS, MD and DNB examination okay, of 5 or 10 marks. Okay, So that's why it is very important and I know most of you find this topic to be a bit difficult but don't worry i'll try to make it as simple as possible for you okay so do subscribe my channel if you haven't done yet so let's begin with the fetal circulation so students what is so unique about fetal circulation you need to remember that fetal circulation is parallel in nature as contrary to the adult or neonatal circulation which is which occurs in series okay but this is a parallel circuit how parallel? The left ventricle and right ventricle walks parallelly. Clear? Next unique feature is the main unit of gaseous exchange in fetal circulation is placenta. Again, in contrary to the neonatal or adult circulation, the main gaseous exchange unit is lungs, of course. Yes. And what are the three unique structures? In fetal circulation, yes, I guess all of you are knowing, but still it is ductus venosus, DV stands for ductus venosus, foramen oval, okay, and the third one is ductus arteriosus. Clear? And few very important MCQs from this particular topic is what is the fetal cardiac output yes so the fetal cardiac output is 450 ml per kg per minute okay this is the fetal cardiac output okay what is the value of neonatal cardiac output this is 350 ml per kg per minute okay and in contrary the adult cardiac output yes all of you are knowing it's 75 ml per kg per minute okay so this is very important for your mcq okay the fetal cardiac output and the neonatal cardiac output Okay, next important thing for MCQ from MCQ point of view is the ratio between the right ventricle and left ventricle output is 1.3 is to 1. Okay, as you know, in case of adults, it is identical 1 is to 1. Clear? So, these are the important MCQ zones from fetal circulation. Okay, now next. Let's move on to the physiology of fetal circulation. So students, you must have seen lots of beautiful diagrams in from your books or internet. You'll get a lot of diagrams, okay? But they will appear complicated to you, okay? So I'm going to draw a diagram. One honest confession is I'm very poor at diagrams, but try to endure with it, okay? You should be schematically correct. You don't need to be very artistic while drawing diagrams. Clear? So. I would like to ask all of you to draw the diagrams along with me, okay, so that it will be easy for you to understand, okay. So, first, make four important organs, okay. Draw with me, students. This one is the placenta, clear? Next, this one is, of course, liver. Next, you make the heart along with me, okay? This is a four-chambered heart, okay? And the last is lungs, okay? First, just make these four organs, okay? And one last important thing over here is this is the lower extremities clear next let's start from placenta okay so 
the oxygenated blood comes from placenta through umbilical vein not umbilical artery mind you this is umbilical vein okay and what is the po2 of this blood in umbilical vein, vein? it is 30 to 35 okay 30 to 35 this is the most oxygenated blood our fetus is getting mind you okay so from umbilicus this is 50 percent of the blood is going to hepatic circulation you can see it's going to liver okay draw with me and 50 percent of the blood is getting shunted via here is the importance of ductus venosus okay 50 percent blood is getting shunted via ductus venosus to the ivc okay ivc and the ivc is getting connected to where yes it's the right atrium done and from lower extremities also the blood is going to ivc okay and then to the right atrium clear up to this so i will show you the flow of the blood you see from placenta 50 percent going to hepatic circulation 50 percent bypassing via ductus venosus and through ivc it's going to right atrium okay and here what happens is a valve named eustachian valve directs the blood from right atrium through the foramen oval okay to the right to the sorry left atrium okay done and now again i guess you are drawing with me yes so here this is the ascending aorta and the descending aorta okay here is the pulmonary artery and here is your ductus arteriosus okay and from pulmonary artery as all of you are knowing it goes to lungs okay and from lungs to pulmonary veins to the left atrium clear and right atrium also receives blood through the superior vena cava okay now again one part already done it's moving the blood is flowing through the right atrium through foramen oval to the left atrium okay and then it is actually going to the ascending outer from left atrium to left ventricle ascending outer okay and this is basically transfusing the upper half of the body with brain okay so basically the blood supply of the upper part of the body and the brain is through the left ventricular output clear next come moving on to the second half of the fetal circulation that is you see blood from superior vena cava is again entering to the right atrium okay and this blood is getting directed through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle are you being able to follow yes from right ventricle only five percent of the blood is going to lungs via pulmonary artery okay why only five percent of the blood is going because the resistance of the pulmonary circulation is very high in case of fetal circulation okay well so only five percent of the blood is going means negligible amount of blood is going so the rest of the blood is moving rather flowing through the ductus arteriosus okay to the descending aorta and from descending aorta again let's draw from here from descending aorta it is moving going to via umbilical vein to placenta and the other part of the portion of the blood is going to perfuse the lower extremities clear so you see the 
main portion of the lower extremities is getting perfused by the blood from right ventricle okay you see like this and the upper extremities are being perfused by more oxygenated blood or from the left ventricle so is it clear students so if you have been asked this topic in the exam try to draw this type of schematic diagram okay that will help you get good marks okay and also you may avoid mistakes clear so what are the other salient features of fetal circulation you see when does this uh, few unique structures get closed okay so just after birth they gradually get closed after you are clamping the umbilicus the placenta is just off clear so the entire circulation is shifting from fetal to neonatal circulation okay and ductus arteriosus gets closed at 10 to 21 days of life again uh, mcq okay so i feel that's all about fetal circulation and i guess this video was quite helpful to you students so we'll be meeting soon again with a lot more videos so stay tuned and updated thank you for watching this video